To find the oxidation numbers for each element in K2S, that's potassium sulfide, we'll use these rules here. So the first thing we need to know is that this is a neutral compound. K2S, that's a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus after it like we'd see with an ion. We have neutral compounds. The oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So that's the first thing we need to know. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. So it's going to have a plus one oxidation number. So each one of these two potassiums, it's plus one. The sulfur, we don't see that on our list here, but we can pretty easily figure it out because these all have to add up to zero. So two times plus one, that's a plus two. So for this to all add up to zero, the sulfur has to be a minus two. So if we look at this, two times plus one, that's plus two. And then the one times the minus two, that's minus two. This cancel out. We have everything adding up to zero. Those are the oxidation numbers for K2S, potassium sulfide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.